Outgoing All Blacks coach Ian Foster reflects on his career while the Governor General is being questioned over a flower bill and complications with medical aid in Gaza. At Maria, I'm Shuri Kinnear reporting from France and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Ian Foster's fronted media here in Paris for one of the last times as All Blacks head coach. It comes as the All Blacks reflect on their Rugby World Cup loss to South Africa at Stade de France. Despite the result, Foster's already labelled the match as one of his proudest moments with the team. He says he'll miss the feeling walking up to the coach's box the most. There's something about it. There's something about um, going and taking your seat and watching the All Blacks play. <laughs> And believe it or not, I love that. And I keep reminding myself that, you know, it's a, it's a privileged position to be in. Meanwhile, the final was still a win for the hospitality sector back home. Hospitality New Zealand says venues, bars, restaurants and clubs have been a backdrop for fans throughout the 50-day tournament. They say with it has come a surge in patronage across the country. The government changed legislation to allow places to open early and people have certainly taken advantage. Two other news headlines now. The coronial inquiry into the 2019 Christchurch mosque attacks continues this week. Coroner Bridget Windley will hear from witnesses over the next six weeks as she looks into whether anything more could have been done on March 15. Last week, police saw staff explain the finer details of their communications systems. The focus was largely on whether staff incorrectly categorised a 111 call from Parliament, warning of the attack as it began to unfold. The caller in question, who'd received a copy of the terrorist threats via email, also gave evidence and was quizzed as to whether the threat was taken seriously. The taxpayers' unions urging the Governor-General to remain vigilant when it comes to spending on luxuries. It comes as official documents shows Government House in Wellington spent $22,000 on flowers last year. The flower bill was revealed in an Official Information Act request, which also shows almost 11,000 was spent on bouquets between January and July this year. A spokesman for the taxpayers' union says the flowers appear to be to honour the late Queen who died last year. But the group says the Governor-General's office should be careful that high levels of expenditure on flowers don't become the new norm. And in world news, it's becoming impossible to provide medical aid to those who need it in Gaza. Doctors Without Borders say prior to October 7, up to 500 supply trucks crossed into the region every day, but just 84 have entered in the past week and a half. The organisation says there's also little electricity and every ward need lights to do surgeries or amputations, which are being done by the dozen. The calls for an immediate ceasefire comes as Israel says the next stage of its war with Hamas has begun after expanding its ground operations in Gaza. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te ra. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.